Final Cut 10.06 added the new override connections function. Normally, when you move a clip that has connected clips, those connected clips move with the other clip. Now, if you hit the grave accent key, you'll see that those connected clips actually stay in place as you move the clip underneath. A little icon pops up to show you that you're actually moving those clips. You can press the grave accent key as you begin to move a clip, and those connected clips will then pop back into place. It takes a little getting used to, but it's actually a very, very handy new feature. Override Connections also works when you slip a clip. Right now, when I'm slipping this clip, the connected clips are actually moving with the slip. If I hit the grave accent key, those connections override and the clips stay in place as I slip the clip underneath. You can also press grave accent as you're making the slip and those connected clips will pop back into their original place. Override Connections also works with trimming, but you have to be actually trimming the head of the clip in which you have clips connected to. In this case, as I trim with Override Connections, those connected clips will then move earlier or later in time as I actually make the trim on the master clip. Hit Override Connections and you'll see that those connected clips will then snap back into their original position while I am actually making the trim. Override Connections works when deleting clips as well. Normally when you delete a clip, all connected clips are deleted, but if you hit the grave accent key and delete a clip, then those connected clips stay behind. The magnetic timeline closes up and your connected clips are now connected to new clips. If you use the forward delete key, then you get a black gap that's left behind, and that's the same thing that happened before, whether you press the grave accent key for override connections or not. Override connections also works with the position tool as well. If you choose the position tool and you hold down the grave accent key and then you move a clip with the position tool, you'll see those connected clips stay in place and you get black located underneath. I think the override connections function is one of the more important things to come along in Final Cut 10 since its introduction. It might take a little getting used to, but I think you'll find you use it an awful lot to override a lot of functions of the magnetic timeline.